Hello everyone, this is your subject, Practical Research 1. Our topic for today is about parts of a research paper. Previously, in our last video, we discussed the research process, its step-by-step -step procedure. So what is a research paper? A research paper is a conventional full-dress report. It is rendered more completely by documentation. So a research paper is a report. From identifying a problem, you report what you did on that, okay? It has three different or main pages, or it is divided into three parts. It includes preparatory pages, report proper, and the final pages. So what are the preparatory pages? It includes the title page, the dedication page, letter of transmittal, approval sheet, acknowledgement page, the abstract, table of contents, list of figures, appendices, index, and the bibliography. So the first page in your research paper is the title page. In the title page, at the upper part of it, it includes your title and your name. Then, why did you do the research? It is in partial fulfillment of a specific um, subject or for your degree, maybe. In the dedication page, you will write whom you dedicate the paper to. It can be your husband, your children, your self, or many other people that you dedicate your research paper. This is the approval sheet. The approval sheet includes the name of your school or your organization, your name, and the head of your organization or your school. It includes they approve that you are doing this specific research paper. Abstract. Abstract is the summary, the synthesis of your research paper. Na summarize na siya sa abstract part. Para kapag binasan ng isang reader ang iyong research paper, yun abstract ang babasahin niya, not the whole research paper. If he wants to have an insight about the total, about the total content of your research paper, he will read the abstract part. The table of contents, the list of figures, appendices, what are the other documents attached to your research paper the index, and the bibliography. So those are the pages included in the section preparatory pages. Or bungan, preparatory. Next is the report proper. So this is the main part of your research paper. It has five parts. It includes the first one is the introduction. Two is review of related literature and studies. Third is the methodology. Fourth is the presentations and analysis of data. Fifth is the summary of findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Sometimes they there are research papers that are in IMRAD form. IMRAD form is introduction, methodology, Results and discussion only. So that is the IMRAD. Ano naman ang included na parts or subparts sa chapter na introduction? It includes the background of the study, statement of the problem, objectives of the study, and the significance of the study. It also includes scope and delimitations of the study, conceptual and theoretical framework of the study the research paradigm, 
and the operational definition of terms. So technically, madaming included sa introduction pa lamang. Dito mo, mababasa kung ano ang saan kumuha yung research writer ng idea kung bakit siya nag-research ng ganito. Mababasa mo yan sa background of the study, statement of the problem, objective, objectives, significance, and many more. Sa scope and delimitation mo naman mababasa kung sino ang kanyang naging respondents and kung kailan, taga saan. Ganun. Sa conceptual and theoretical framework mo naman mababasa kung may um, nabasa siyang theory na kinoconnect sa kanyang research. Research paradigm and the operational definition of terms. So those are included in the chapter 1 introduction. In Chapter 2 naman, the review of related literature and studies, it includes the local and foreign literature, local and foreign studies. So as our discussion before, we identified that literature review gives us the idea on identifying research problem. So my main part siya sa iyong report or report pages, report proper, which is the Chapter 2. So, kung nagbasa ka talaga, you gave your time to research about your research problem, dito makikita ng readers mo yung mga binasa mong literature and related study about sa research mo. Third chapter is the methodology. In the methodology part, it includes the research design, sampling, instrumentation, and the methods and procedures. The fourth part or the fourth chapter is the presentation and analysis of data. Here, it includes the tables and graphs and charts. And the fifth is the summary of findings, conclusions, and recommendations. So dito muna, sinasabi na ganito ang lumabas sa research ko. Nire-recommend ko na mas lumawak or palawakin ang respondents. Pwede ganon. Gawing deeper ang finding sa concept na ito, sa idea na ito. Mga ganon ang nababasa summary of findings, conclusions, and recommendations. And the third part of your research paper is the final pages. It includes appendices, kung ano na yung mga attached documents, pwedeng letter of intent, letter of consent, pwedeng approval letter from other people, yung questionnaire mo, mga ganon. Index and bibliography. So that ends our simple discussion about the parts of a research paper. Let us have a brief review. So a research paper has three main parts, the preparatory pages, the report proper, and the final pages. So you may take a screenshot about the pages included in preparatory pages. And these are the report proper pages or report proper. In the introduction, we have in the literature review or review of related literature, in the methodology, in the presentation and analysis of data, summary of findings, and the final pages. So that's it. That's our discussion for today. Thank you.